I was born and raised here. I've lived here all my life. I'm 70 years old. Rantoul is, is, is a somewhat depressed community. Growing up in Rantoul was, <laughs> I would say it's, it's easy going as long as you hang out with the right people. There's a lot of, a lot of ways to get yourself in trouble here because there's really nothing to do besides get in trouble. <laughs> the truth is I don't know what's about this town, but people like being here. I personally like it because it's a peaceful town. In 1854, the, uh, the railroad came through, and um, that's really when Rantoul started to grow. As time went by in 1917, the military decided to uh, build their base here. As the base continued to grow, we continued to grow population-wise. It was huge. I mean, this town was so busy, and there were so many small businesses. And I think when the base closed, a lot of those went away. As I look at some of these buildings here, I, I just um, reflecting back at uh, what they used to be and how many people used to walk up and down these sidewalks. It was just a Americana at its best. When the base closed, the, the general population here felt like it was a punch in the stomach. The population went from 27.6 at a high down to um, about 12,000. A lot of the businesses um, had to close immediately. It's always been the same. Like there's barely anything that comes around tool besides new people. You know, when you take away some of the smaller family-owned businesses, I think we're the ones that suffered too. Pork processing company opened and many Hispanics began migrating here. There weren't many before. I think people are really invested in bringing Rantoul back. I think that with more people coming, there will be more business and the town will continue to grow. And I hope it grows for the better, not for worse.